Thanks to the Combine Masks feature, it is now easier to create and edit complex masks to target specific areas of your image. There are three ways to combine masks. Add, Subtract, and Intersect. Please note there are many ways to use these three operations and different ways to achieve the same result. In this tutorial, we will cover one example for each operation. Let's start with the Add operation. For example, you can use this option to add multiple gradient masks into the same layer. Let's start by creating a new layer. First, we add a linear gradient to darken the top part of the image. Now we would like to darken the bottom part of the image. To do that, we will click on Combine Masks and select the Add operation. Now we select the kind of mask we want to add. In this case, we will add another linear gradient. Note how a second gradient is created under the same layer. Now we can simply draw the new linear gradient from the bottom towards the center of the image. As it's part of the same layer, the second gradient will include all the same adjustments as the first one. Note that it is still possible to modify the size and position of any of the gradients. Let's see now an example of how we can use the subtract operation to mask the whole subject except for the hair. To start with, we create a subject mask. To do that, simply click on the subject button. Now that our subject mask has been created, we can select subtract people and click on create mask. A pop-up window will appear. Here we need to select what parts of the mask will be deleted. In this case, we we'll select hair. Now we have a mask that covers the subject, except for the hair, and we can move on to adding our adjustments. Note that this mask can be copied to other images and it will always dynamically mask the subject, except for the hair, regardless of their position in the image. This type of mask can also be saved as a style to apply the same adjustments across your images, even if they are in different sessions or catalogues. Lastly, let's see an example of how to use the intersect operation. To start, we'll create a new layer with a linear gradient. We will use this gradient mask to boost the sun rays that are filtering through the roof. Now we can add some adjustments to enhance the existing light, like adding brightness, opening up the shadows, and adding a warmer tone to the highlights. Now we need to make sure our backlight is not affecting the subjects. To do that, click on Combine Masks and select Intersect Background. Now we can readjust the size and position of the gradient without affecting the subjects. Note the same result can be achieved by creating a linear gradient and then selecting Subtract Subject. There's infinite ways to combine and refine masks. For more detailed possibilities and examples, check out our articles at our Learning Hub.